Have you always wanted to trade comfortably using up to 10% of your account size on each trade without the fear of a massive drawdown on your account? Well, today, I will be showing you this simple strategy used by Millionaire Trader. This strategy made a huge return on investment as it was created by Lorena Martirez. I will also be improving the strategy to make 10 times the initial strategy created. So make sure you stick to the end as we used both 1 minute and 5 minute time frame for this strategy. Please make sure you backtest the strategy on different pairs before making use of it. As backtesting a trading strategy is a crucial point when trying out a new scalping strategy on TradingView. But I'm pretty sure it works on Forex, crypto, and stocks. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe as it motivates us on the hunt for the holy grail. Okay guys, we are currently on the Euro United States dollar and we are on the 5 minutes time frame. So for today's strategy, I will be going over quickly to the indicators one of my subscriber used and I will also be going over the upgraded version of how I improved the strategy. So in order to make this video a very short one, let's quickly dive into the indicators. Okay guys, for the first indicator. Search for the range filter buy and sell 5 minutes by Gikroth. And for the second indicator, search for the cycle channel oscillator by Lazy Bear. For the last indicator, search for the TSI by Evergit. Now let's adjust these settings. For the first indicator, Double click on the range filter to bring up the settings panel on the input. Change the sampling period to 20 and the range multiplier to 1.15. Now head over to the style and untick all this option except for the buy and sell. When you are done, click on the OK button. Now for the second indicator, double click on the TSI. For the input, I want you to change the long length to 6 and also signal length to 2. Then on the style, untick the histogram, also untick the zero line crossover background, and lastly, untick the ribbon. Click on the OK button when you are done. Now for our last indicator, bring up the settings panel, on the style, untick the medium cycle OB, and also untick its OS. Do the same for the short cycle script. After that, untick the bar color and these two plots background. And we are done with our settings. Click on the OK button to fully apply the settings. Now let's go over the valid rules for entry and exit. But before that, let's understand how these indicators work. The range filter will work as our main indicator as we will be using the other two indicator for confirmation. Now for the channel oscillator by Lazy Bear. Please note that this two moving average serve as a fast and slow MA. As the red is the fast and the green is the slow. According to Lorena Martirez, we would be switching to hike an ashy candlestick. But I suggest not using this candlestick if you really don't know how to make use of it while trading. But well, stick to the end because we use Japanese candlestick when we improve the strategy. For a buy signal to be valid, we need to have a new buy signal from the range filter as first confirmation. Also, we would want to see the red above the green on the cycle channel as we also want our TSI to be on green. Before we go ahead and open the buy order at the close of the candlestick. So we see we met all our conditions here as we can see we have the buy label and also our confirmation indicators approve the entry signal. So we would go ahead and open the buy at this candlestick. For the take profit, I decided to choose 1.5 times the risk as our stop loss is at recent swing low. So we see it was successful. Exactly the opposite is true for a short signal. We need to have a new sell signal from the range filter as first confirmation. We also want to see the red MA below the green on the cycle channel as we also want our TSI to be on red. Before we go ahead and open the sell order. So we see we met all our conditions here, as we can see we have the sell label, and also, our confirmation indicators approved the entry signal. So we would go ahead, and open a sell trade at this candlestick. 
the stop loss at recent swing high, while take profit at 1.5 times the risk. And we see it was successful. Now let's quickly back test the result and see how profitable it is. Stay till the end, as we would be improving this strategy by the end of this video. Please don't forget to smash the like button, as it motivates us on making more amazing contents like this. Also, if you just discovered the channel, do well to subscribe, as we have a lot of amazing strategy that would definitely make you a profitable trader. Okay guys, so we just finished the back testing for this strategy, and out of 200 back tested trades, we made 45% win rate. Having 190 and lost 110, which made us 25% return on investment. There was a lot of loosing trades during ranging markets. And this strategy had a whole lot of signals, provided within a short period of time. As it gave those 200 trades within 12 days. And also, expect the return on investment to be lower when trading life, as the spread and commission was not included during the back test. Generally, I would say it still yielded some profits, but not as much as we'd expected. So let's go over to the upgraded version that made 10 times what we just saw. Okay guys, so first, we switched back to Japanese candlestick. And also, we had to make some adjustment to the indicators. Now before we move on, we would also be switching to the 1 minute time frame. Now for this strategy, as the previous strategy made a lot of loosing trades during the ranging market and also provided a lot of signals when back testing, we then had to make the changes in order to help prevent some loosing trades. So we still had the same indicators on the chart. Now for the range filter, bring up the settings panel, increase the sampling period to 200, and also increase the range multiplier to 5. On the style, tick the range filter, also tick the high target and low target. Then lastly, tick the high target range and low target range. Click on the OK button when you are done. For the TSI, bring up the indicator settings. On the input, change the long length to 9, and also change the signal length to 13. On the style, scroll down, then increase the opacity for both overbought level breakout and oversold level breakout, for only the color 0. When you are done, click on the OK button to fully apply the settings. Now for the last indicator, double click on the cycle channel oscillator. On the input, reduce the short cycle to 9, and change the medium cycle length to 21, also change medium cycle multiplier to 3.5. When you are done, head over to the style. Change the upper line to green, and lower line to red. Then I want you to tick this 4 boxes. Change the colors to white, and also increase the opacity. Go ahead and untick the slow oscillator. When you are done, click on the OK button to fully apply the settings. Now let's go over the rules for a valid buy and sell signal. For a buy signal to be valid, we need to have a new buy signal from the range filter. Then we would wait till we confirm an overbought level from our cycle channel oscillator. As we would want to see the moving average close above one, or we could easily notice when we see the white histogram. Then we would also want to see the TSI on overbought as well. When this two confirmation are met, we would want to wait till the cycle channel oscillator drops and close below the middle band line. And when it happens, we would open a buy trade at the next green signal from the TSI, as long as the range filter is still on green. Now for the stop loss, if we have the candlestick above the range filter, without its wick on the range filter, we would then use the range filter moving average as our level of stop loss. But if we have the candlestick below the range filter, or touching the moving average, then we would use the low target line as our stop loss levels. Also note that we only take trade once per range filter signal. So we see we met our conditions here, as we have the range filter give our buy signal, then we waited till we got the overbought from the cycle channel oscillator, as well as having our overbought on the TSI. 
we had to wait till we got the cycle channel oscillator close below the middle band line we then trailed our entry as the tsi gives a new bullish signal and we can see our range filter is still on green we would go ahead and place a buy stop order at the peak of this trigger candlestick and we see our candlestick is still on the range filter moving average so we would use our low target line as stop loss and take profit levels are at two times the risk and we see it was successful exactly the opposite is true for a short trade for a sell signal to be valid we need to have a new sell signal from the range filter then we would wait till we confirm an oversold level from our cycle channel oscillator as we would want to see the moving average close below zero or we could easily notice when we see the white histogram then we would also want to see the tsi on oversold as well when this two confirmation are met we would want to wait till the cycle channel oscillator rises and close above the middle band line and when it happens we would open a sell trade at the next red signal from the tsi as long as the range filter is still on red also note that for the stop loss if we have the candlestick below the range filter without its wick on the range filter we would then use the range filter moving average as our level of stop loss but if we have the candlestick above the range filter or touching the moving average then we would use the high target line as our stop loss levels also note that we only take trade once per range filter signal so we see we met our conditions here as we have the range filter give our sell signal then we waited till we got the oversold from the cycle channel oscillator as well as having our oversold on the tsi we had to wait till we got the cycle channel oscillator close above the middle band line we then trailed our entry as the tsi gives a new bearish signal and we see our range filter is still on red we would go ahead and place a sell stop order at the bottom of this trigger candlestick we see our candlestick is below the moving average without touching the moving average we would then use the moving average as our level of stop loss and take profit levels are at two times the risk and we see it was successful okay guys i hope you understood the rules for entry Let's now quickly back test the strategy and see the results from our back test as we would be going over 200 back tested trades as well as using an account size of $1,000 and risking 1% of our account size on each trade. Let's get on with it. Okay guys, so we just finished the back testing for this strategy. And we can see that there is a significant improvement on the win rate. We had a win rate of 69% in 200 back tested trades. Having won 138 and lost just 62, which made us 214% return on investment. And I found those trade setups within 7 weeks, because we only trade once per established trend market. So overall, I'm definitely happy with the result. And the profit factor is looking incredibly amazing. As we had 7 wins in a row against 4 losses in a row, which could make us trade, using 2-4% to of our account comfortably. So yeah, I'm definitely happy with these results. Okay traders, let's now compare the strategy to some other strategy back tested on this channel. In terms of return on investment, this strategy is really good, although not the most profitable on the channel, as it made its mark as top 10 trading strategies on this channel. 214% return on investment is really amazing for a short-term trade on a 1-minute time frame. You should probably test this strategy out if you want weekly profits from the market. If we take a look at the win rate, which is probably one of the most important metrics, we can see that the strategy is good as well, as it made 69% win rate within a short period of time. So make sure to add this to your trading arsenal. So yeah, traders, definitely give this strategy a try, and make sure you do the proper back testing and forward testing before trading life. By the way, if you have any strategy you would like to try out, please let us know on the comment section. 
Also, feel free to check out my other videos on our channel. I have playlists with different strategies and indicators that will definitely make you a profitable trader. All I ask for in return is to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel as it is absolutely free. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.